Hi there. Welcome to Sunnyside Journals and welcome to 30 Minutes of My Day. And welcome back to uh, the journaling board that I am working on for As You Like It. So I'm, I, I kept thinking about it. The, um, the journaling board. And I love it. Don't get me wrong, I love it, but as you can see here, I still feel like playing with it a bit. I feel like it needs a little, a little something. So, and I think that's just a little bit of uh, tea dyed, tea dyed um, laces. So I have to figure out uh, where I want them and uh, and then do it. So I'm going to get out I'm going to get out some good old glue. I'm going to use three in one, I hope. If it looks like it's not going to hold, uh, I will use uh, hot glue. I'll use my glue gun. Um, but I'm hoping that the three in one will be enough. Let me put that on its side. Where's my rock? Where's my other rock? There we go. Um, so if you're catching up here, if, uh, if you didn't watch when I made this, uh, it's, this is actually, uh, from, uh, an old, another book, an old book. It's one of the covers and I've put some beautiful hand marble paper on the one side. Uh, that I'll put the, I'll put a link down here to the Etsy shop. It's a little... Uh, actually, you know what? I don't know how little it is, but they have a shop on Etsy, so I usually assume that it's a smaller business on Etsy. I shouldn't presume anything. It's a business in uh, Ontario, Canada here, and they Four Keys, Four Keys Book Arts, I think. Anyhow, the link will get you there, <laughs> and uh, they hand marble papers, and it's just so pretty so beautiful and I treated myself to two two big sheets and uh, this is from one of the big sheets and I've used it here for in as you like it and I've used it it's going to be end papers for in the other three little books the little bedtime books um, so I want this plain because I want to be able to slide it into the book and actually use this as a journaling board so I don't want anything interfering with this smooth surface but this side can be as fun and bumpy as we like because this this is the side for show this is the presentation side so I went through my uh, my little jar of laces uh, which reminds me because I've been I've been working so hard in my room here once again just sorting going through I've sort of been I, I, I'm doing a mini spark joy kind of thing. I've just sort of gone through bulk items that I've got and I've sort of asked myself the question, have I used this in the last three years? And if I haven't, it's going in a box. And uh, if, I, um, if I have, then it can stay right where it is. But if I have not used it, um, yeah, I, I put it in a box to sort of, I, I sort of let them hang around for a month so that I can still think about whether I really want to let it go or not. <laughs> but yesterday I took, um, I took three bags of things to my little local, my little local shop. Um, so anyhow, so I, um, I know I had said I wanted to get all three all four, pardon me, of the books. Hold on, like the little, the little bedtime series books. Um, I wanted to have them all done by Friday, and you know what? I, I've got to be honest with myself. It's not going to happen because I did take time. Hold on, there we go. I did take time to do some really good sorting in my room here, and then I did have it. Was it yesterday or the day before? Now I can't remember was National Lazy Day, and it explained why I got nothing done all day. 
uh, and it was near the end of the day, <laughs> I was listening to my radio and the guy said, well, today's National Lazy Day. And I thought, there's my answer. That's why I feel like I've got nothing done today. <laughs> Anyhow, so, but I was, as I was sorting through things and I was finally put my laces into my little candy jar that I found. Well, it's not so little, big candy jar. It got me thinking, I want to put some of these laces on this board. Just in a little haphazard way and just make it not quite so much green. Um, now I know there's a, a twig here, there's some jute, there's a um, pheasant tail feather, but I still want, I still want some, I still want some lace. So I'm thinking, I, I immediately thought I have to use that. I love it. Let me hold it up so you can see. Hopefully it's not blurry. I can't see in my camera today. The way I've got the angle, I can't see. Uh, little hearts and flowers. So I love it. And I believe I want that there. Like that. So that you can still see the, the feathery, the feathery goodness. Um, and I believe I want, I have some of these little pieces of the, that's that bridal, 1970s bridal lace that I tea dyed and it tea dyed so nicely. And I, I definitely, because it's already a natural triangle, I feel like it tucks into corners nicely. And I have, oh, this one is, this is a couple of pieces here. Let's see. Oh, it's two triangles. Okay. Because I think I want to put one maybe up in here. I'm not too worried that it's curly because I'm going to glue it down. Let me let me snip this. I purposefully chose laces that are tea dyed or coffee dyed. I think I decided I wanted them a little bit darker. Um, so that they, there's a little bit of contrast with already how dark this naturally yellowed paper is from As You Like It. This was the list of illustrations from the text block. So I know I want those there, but now I have to decide where else perhaps I want to tuck some. I just have some little bits and pieces, like I thought maybe in behind. Do you know what I mean? Just to sort of have it not necessarily any rhyme or reason. Now I have some flat ones just in case it feels like it's getting too bulky. I want to take I want to take this end or this casing off of the edge. There we go. Good. Um, no. Isn't that funny how when you're doing things, you know, purposefully haphazard, isn't that funny how your eye still immediately knows what it likes and what it doesn't like. But that cracks me up. Uh, I have this little piece. No, I don't like that. <laughs> don't like it. Yeah, I like that better. This is a little raggedy. That's okay. This journaling board is a little raggedy. So this video today, as you probably have figured out, is going to be just a lot of me humming and hawing and trying to decide what appeals to my eye and what um, what I don't like. Now there are some, I like these little, 
these little tiny flowers and I may break some up and tuck them in here and there. So they're just tiny little, tiny little sweet flowers. All right, let's just start with that. It's one of those ones where it's kind of hard to tell. Oh yeah, I like that. Which side's up <laughs> and which side is down. Oh, I like these little flowers. I don't like this. Let's see if I like the little flower up there. I do. I like those tiny flowers. I like that. I like that. Maybe, maybe just a, a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Let's see. Here we go. Oh, and I also, I really attacked my closet and I did a similar thing, only I didn't give myself three years with my clothing closet. I gave myself two years and I held up the item and my first question to myself was, self, have you worn this in the last two years, over the last two seasons, like, so eight seasons in a way, have you worn it? And if I hadn't worn it, my next question to myself was, um, is this suitable for donation or is this uh, suitable for rags or garbage? And then I dealt with it and I dealt with a lot. I was very pleased with uh, my closet is um it's wonderful now let's see yeah yep i think i think that's it is that it part of me wonders if i just want one just one little little flower tucked in that or is it just getting to be too much if it gets too much, then they lose how sweet they are. Yep, too much. All right, I'm going to start. Let's move you. I'm going to start, and that way, if I'm if I'm done, you know what? As much as I love this little lace, it um. It really covers up that pheasant feather. I'll think about it later. All right, so first one is this. Now I'm going to move you over because I have been known to um, blop glue right onto what I'm working on. So I'll glue over here and then I'll move it to where I want it. I just never expected 
these laces to tea dye so well. I assumed that they were polyester. And usually I have found in the past that polyester is not very happy to be tea dyed. There we go. Um, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe this isn't, maybe it is cotton. Just giving it a good poke down. Just using a chopstick. They always send us chopsticks when we order Asian food because we like several, many kinds of Asian food. Um, and I've never been able to figure out how to use chopsticks. All right, let's do this one. So a fork it is for me. I just want it uh, to go from the plate to me. <laughs> and if a fork does it for me, well, then so be it. And I will still make use of the complimentary chopsticks. I've even told them, don't worry about putting chopsticks in. Um, but I think maybe somebody else packages it. And they tend to always arrive anyways. They're great for stirring paint or if you're tinting Mod Podge, things like that. You can use them for lots of things. All right, like it, like it. Yeah, I like you under there, so let's see. These little ends. I'm hoping work well. I'm hoping what they will do is allow this flower to still have a little bit of dimension so it'll be kind of movable. Where did I have you? I had you right there. So see what I mean? I'll still be able to lift that. Oh, it's still wet. Hold on. Here, I'll hold it down. I'll still be able to sort of See what I mean? It'll have a little bit of texture. So just give that a little. Yeah, those are cute. Okay, so you're going to go under there. Over here. Tweezers. Tweezers. I don't want to get glue on my fingers. There we go. I like that. I'm not this I haven't decided on this one yet, so I'm not going to glue it on yet. Let, let's do these little ones here. So you're on. Good. Now you. Oh, it's kind of gunky. There we go. My latest thing, that's, where was this? I looked away. <laughs> My latest thing that I can't get enough of on YouTube is urban sketching with pen and ink and watercolor. I can't get enough of it. I love watching what other people do when they go out and Urban sketching is like sketching outside of wherever you are. So it's not necessarily that you're outside. It's not like plein air. 
Um, but in a way it is because, you know, urban sketching can be outdoors, but it also could be in a coffee shop or, you know, in the library kind of thing. Um, but I particularly enjoy the urban sketching with, um, with really loose watercolors and, um, ink pen for the detail work. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love how it looks. I found way too many channels of way too many talented artists that I'm just, I'm just buried in them. And I feel badly because I'm, I'm, I'm not keeping up to date with my favorite junk journal channels because I'm just watching these urban sketching channels. <laughs> yeah, this little guy. Do I want him down here or do I maybe want him up here? Let me move here so I make sure I'm in view. Hmm. I thought I wanted this raggedy end piece, but I don't think I do. Take it off. There we go. And if I sneeze, I apologize. But I feel a sneeze coming on. Yeah, I think I want it underneath there so it's hanging off the edge a bit. So I need to be able to sneak it in. Yes, I can do it. All right. Now I wonder if I want to put the glue in there and then jam this in or no, no, I'm going to, I'm going to glue this on both sides and then, I'm, and then I'll technical term, I'll jam it in there. All right, there we go. glue everywhere. Oh, I got it on my hand. Oh, I got it on this hand. <laughs> it's always an adventure. In you go. I'm trying to be careful because three in one, just like Fabri-Tac, dries shiny and I don't want, I don't want shiny showing. Shiny can hide. There we go. I'm gonna have to wash that. Now let's pat you down. Yes, I like that. Hmm. You know what? Sorry, you're coming out. Too many. Too many. And same with you. Oh, wow, well, you weren't stuck very well. Oh, I hadn't glued you in yet. <laughs> but you're in. Yes. Yeah, I like that better. Now, what about here? I wonder if I have a little, a little flat lace that could slide under there. Hmm. You know, like these leaves are all still underneath. No, you're too big. No. Hmm. No. Oh. No. Nope. All right. That's, you know what? That's, that's what I like. Let me stand up and see what you're seeing. And hopefully it hasn't all been out of camera. Hold on. So there it is. Just a couple of little 
They're almost like little snowbells or any other tiny little off-white posy that you might find on the forest floor. So yes, they add a bit more texture here. Certainly not any more than there already is. These are all still rather bulky, so that the twig will stick out, which is fine. It's not going in, and it doesn't affect this at all. Let me go get the book, and we can just take a look and see how it looks. I keep thinking about this book because I feel like I still want to do a bit more to it. And I'm wondering if it's that I want to add a bit of some more of this marbled paper in there. So this would just go in anywhere like that and stick out. Oh, I like that. So you can see just a little bit of the lace when it's closed. But if you open it to use it, yeah. Okay, I really like that. That worked out really well. And I'm just going to, I am I am going to walk away from the journaling board now. Walk away. Um, now i got to decide if I am all done. This is meant to be some kind of a sketchbook, drawing book, or if it's someone who wants to use it as a junk journal and just collage in it or what have you, it, um, there's enough of an angle here that I believe they could have some fun putting things in and even getting it up to about there with, with stuff, I think. So there we go. I'm really going to think though about whether I want to put, um, I have a few off cuts of the um, marble paper. So I'll either put it in this book or else they'll go into the three little bedtime books somewhere. My gut is really telling me that I just like this the way it is and that it's back away from it and leave it alone. Fortunately, I'm going to hold off and uh, when all four books are done, that's when I will list it. And so I've got easily until then to, um, to decide. So there we go. There is our, here, let me put this underneath so you can see better. Those, these boards, they're so ugly. Here, here, here. Love this. This one my mom made. Oh, I hear you. There we go. How's that look? That's a pretty journal. I like it. All right, great. Well, listen, I'm at 28 minutes and I don't, there's nothing more I can get started on right now that would I would have time to finish. So I'm going to say goodbye here. Thank you for joining me. I hope you have a great rest of your day or rest of your evening, whatever time it is, wherever you are. Make it a good one, and uh, I'm going to try to. Take care. Bye.